Okay, so today we have the last of the trig formulae off of your formula sheet that we're going to be looking at for now. And these are the double angle formulae. So consider you have to do something like working out um, something for 2A. You just need to remember that that's the same as A plus A, which we can then use compound angle formulae on. So if you had this as A plus B, you would go out and look up the uh, formula that we did in the last videos. So this one is A plus A. If we work that through, we get sine A cos A plus cos A sine A, which of course is 2 sine A cos A. Now this works in a similar way with cos and tan. We can do the same sorts of manipulation with them. So all three of them look like this. So we've got the sine one. The cos one's a little bit special because it comes to cos squared A minus sine squared A. That can also then be re-expressed in other ways uh, using the fact that cos squared plus sine squared makes 1. So this can also be the same as 1 minus 2 sine squared A and 2 cos squared A minus 1. Any of those three are totally fine to use, you just pick the one that works for the situation you have. And tan looks like this. Okay, so there they are. You've got them on your formula sheet, let's have a look at how to use them. So, we've got this example, cos A equals a quarter, we want to find the exact value of cos of 2A. So, we need to pick one of those cos uh, formulae for the, the double angle formulae. There are three to choose from. Now, since we're told about what cos A is, and we don't have any information on sine, we want the one that only uses cos. So, that's this one. So, we pop it in, we know that cos A equals a quarter, so square it, times it by 2, and take away 1. And you get minus 7 eighths. So what if we have something like this, cos of half A? Now half A, you can think about in terms like this. So cos of A would be made up of cos half A plus half A. So then we can use that the fact that that would be 2 cos squared of half A minus 1. And then we can rearrange that to work out cos of half A. Alright, so we know that this equals a quarter, because we're told that cos A is a quarter in the question. So now rearranging, we get this, which gives us cos squared of half A equals 5 over 8. So cos of half A would be uh, the square root of 5 over the square root of 8 which is equal to root 5 over 2 root 2 and most of the time you'd want to rationalise that denominator so you end up with root 10 over 2. Right, next we have a proving question. These ones you need to be quite particular about the way you set them out. So we're proving that cot A minus tan A is identically equal to 2 cot 2A. So I'm going to start with the left hand side and see what we can do with that. So cot of course is 1 over tan. If we put that all over a common denominator of tan A then we will have 1 minus tan squared A on the top. Now I can't go too much further with that, it's a bit tricky so I'm going to now switch to the right hand side and see if we can meet in the middle. So 2 cot 2A, that's the same as 2 over tan 2A since cot is 1 over tan. Tan of 2A we can replace with 2 tan A over 1 minus tan squared A. Dividing by the fraction just means we're going to multiply by its reciprocal. So now we have the following, which of course is equal to what we've worked out on the left hand side. So now we can say the left hand side is equal to the right hand side and our proof is finished.